Well, I'm in East Cheap here in the city, and as well as the traditional architecture you see behind me, there have been lots of ambitious skyscrapers in recent years, most of them commissioned during the property boom. You've heard of the Shards, you may have heard of the Gherkin, you may have heard of the Cheese Grater, and up here is what's become known as the Walkie Talkie. 38 storeys tall, costing more than £200 million, it flares outwards at the top to maximise the rent. The rent's higher in the upper floors, but that has a problem associated with it. As any Boy Scout knows, if you have a curved mirror and you concentrate the light from the sun, you can set fire to something. Now this is curved and it's meant that the light and the heat is focused on a point down here, just below the building, and this is the sort of effect that has. It can scorch a carpet, nearly setting fire to it at this local hairdresser on East Cheap. And have a look here on the side, the paint has bubbled up from the heat. Even the products inside the window have been affected. That's a plastic lemon. You can see the bubbles on it from the heat, from the sunlight. Now behind me is something that's become rather famous in the last couple of days, the exact spot where someone left his Jaguar just for a few hours, but because of the heat, found that when he returned, the wing mirror and various other plastic panels were melted. Now Land Security is the owner of 20 Fenchurch Street, the walkie-talkie, has said they want this area blocked off from cars so that doesn't happen again. Not surprising when they've had to pay nearly a grand in damages to the man whose car was melted and they may have to pay something to this business too. Have a look at this. Tiles down at a local Vietnamese cafe. The grouting has become so hot that it's just dried up and it's not working anymore. The land security say they did do the testing for the building and they did all the impact testing they should and it didn't show anything of this sort, any problem of this sort. They say it will only happen when the sun's at a certain height for two hours a day and only then at the height of the summer. Nevertheless, they do need some sort of long-term solution for this sort of damage.